Uh, first we want to do, dip the brush in the ink. I've got this little uh, ceramic pot inside a hollowed out bit of wood. Works very nicely. Uh, dip the brush just a little bit. Not too far. Wipe it on the side a bit. I've also got a bit of paper down here that I just dab a little bit of excess, but I'll do it up here just to show you. Just to get it right, so you've got the right amount of ink on the brush for what you need. Sometimes you need more, sometimes you need less. Uh, that's the beauty of the uh, the brush and ink, is you can, uh, you can stem the flow as much as you want. Uh, so, just start by doing a bit of drawing. Just quick, keep it fun. Try to do a few different sort of sort of lines, some fast ones, some bigger ones, also some maybe some smaller ones, maybe some little zigzags, little hatches. Basically you're just trying to do all the sort of lines you're gonna do in your drawing, so when you come to them you your hand knows what they're doing. Or what it's doing. I'm not very good at talking and drawing. I usually do this in silence. I don't usually talk to the dog that much. If you can hear any snoring, it's uh, not my audience or me, it's my other dog Corky sleeping below my feet. Uh, okay. See, I can also move the paper around to make life easier for myself if I need to do certain lines. I used to tape the, the page to the, uh, to the board and used to have to move my arm into all sorts of ways until I realised that, well, you don't have to tape it and you can just hold it with one hand and, and move it around as much as you want. So basically what I'm doing is, um, there's a bit less ink on the brush at the moment, so I use that opportunity to do smaller lines, lines that don't you don't want as much ink on the brush um, you know little details maybe a bit of fine hatching and I'm not even sure how much you can really see but anyway so this is what we've we've done so far just just fun uh, you can also just do swirly lines. Maybe a few little little dabs. Um, you'll notice that where there are some different lines, you do different things with the brush. The classic sort of ink line was where you, you have the brush a little bit above the page. And you bring it down and up to make a classic line like that. If you use it like a pen uh, and just stop dead you'll get a different look which is good but for a different sort of thing usually coming into a corner you might come in and then out to do that but if you want to do say like the nose shape I did before you come up at the ends to get that nice line. Um, when there tends to be less ink on the brush, you can get that dry brush look, uh, which if you do very fast, you can get some nice effects. There's still a bit too much ink on this one, but I'll come to that later. Maybe, if I need it. Uh, what other? What else do I do? Yes, uh, every now and then, give it a bit of a swish in the water. If it, you can feel the brush getting a little dry, give it a good clean. Give it another dip. Not too much, just a little bit. Dab off the excess. 
And one thing I do when I'm inking is I put my pinky down uh, to stabilize my hand a bit for some uh, strokes and also to make sure that I know that uh, the brush won't sort of go any further into the page than it is. So if I hold it here, have my pinky here and I do a line, I know that it won't go any further because my pinky is holding it down. If I want it to go further, I just move my pinky a bit and get a bit bit more weight to the line. Uh, it's a good way to, to do more controlled lines like that. Um, of course you can use the, the dip pen as well, which is much better for hatching, uh, which uh, maybe I'll, I'll get to later. But for now, I think I'm pretty much warmed up. Maybe I'll do a few circles, a few squiggles. And we're ready to ink.